uh, let's move on. The next presentation is a, a, a variation of a third presentation is a, a variation of optimal a cleaning tool for the development of cleaning robots for a grease grease from a ventilation duct. Okay, it's, the presenter is uh, Ms. Yamanaka, please. Thank you for your introduction. I'm Yuta Yamanaka from Tsuo University. I'm glad to have the chance to speak at this conference. Today, as you can see on the slide, this is the title of my presentation. Here is the outline of my presentation. First, I would like to talk about my research. In the kitchen of restaurants, five cold ducts are installed. Ducts connecting indoor exhaust fans to outdoor exhaust vents to uh, remove uh, uh, vents to remove smoke generated during cooking. Such smoke contains oil. Uh, this combines uh, this combines with dust to form grease that accumulates on inner walls of ducts. Uh, if the grease in the duct ignites, the fire can uh, spread through the duct to the entire building. This may lead to a large scale fire. In fact, the number of fires in restaurants have been increasing in Tokyo in recent years. In particular, duct fires are a problem because the ducts are installed in the ceiling or under the floor, making them difficult to access and hindering firefighting activities. And therefore, uh, it is imperative to regularly cleaning, uh, regularly, cre regularly cleaning kitchen ducts to remove grease. And to clean these ducts, workers generally enter through cleaning pots and remove the, the accumulated grease using scrapers. However, manual cleaning has some problems. First, ducts are installed in the ceiling and under the floor. Uh, therefore, the work area is often dark, narrow, and high above the ground. It creates dangerous conditions for the workers. Then, some ducts are too small to penetrate, depending on their specifications. Further, uh, cleaning work needs to be performed outside of business hours because the ducts are using during restaurant opening hours. Therefore, the purpose of this study is to develop a robot that can clean grease in ducts to solve these problems. In this presentation, we evaluate the performance of cleaning tools on the robot. Next, let me talk about the requirement specification of the robot. First of all, let's talk about how to clean the ducts. There are two main types of ventilation duct cleaning methods, wet and dry. And the wet method uses uh, detergent and water to lift dirt from the wall. This method is highly cleaning power and enables sterilization by chemical treatment. However, it is rarely used because a few common ventilation ducts are watertight. On the other hand, uh, the dry method uses rotation brushes, powerful edges, scrapers, and dry ice to remove grease, uh, remove remove that from the wall. This method does not require the application of any liquids, and so there is no risk of liquid leakage. However, it is lower uh, cleaning efficiency than the wet method. Currently, the ducts are cleaned manually using a dry method. Next, uh, we, we will talk about dry method, dry cleaning method. There are three main types of dry cleaning. First, the, <clears throat> the method using a scraper has already been used for manual cleaning. However, designing the robot, we consider that a rigid scraper would not be able to effectively conform to the, to the inner wall of the duct. Next, mobile robots equipped with air jets and blowers uh, have been developed for cleaning dust in pipes. However, they are, they are not applicable for removing grease because the high degree of adherence and the viscosity of the substance make it resistant to clean, cleaning by air pressure. Finally, 
<clears throat> there is a method of cleaning grease using dry ice. However, considering the cleaning of wide range of duct walls, the cost is high due to the consumption of large amount of dry ice pellets. Uh, <clears throat> therefore, the grease cleaning robot to be developed in this study will be equipped with brushes as a dry method. Next, let me talk about the development model for the robot. Uh, being talking about the model, we will talk about the size of the duct and the robot we are assuming. And figure eight uh, shows the duct. Uh, figure eight shows the size of the duct we are assuming. In this study, we assume a duct with a diameter that a person could not enter and a length that a person could not reach. Next, uh, figure nine shows an image of the robot to be developed in this, in this research. We will divide the robot into major parts, uh, cleaning part and moving part, and start developing the cleaning part. We consider that the cleaning part contains brushes mechanisms and actuators. In order to determine the specifications of the robot, we con constructed a development model of the, of the entire uh, cleaning part of the system and organized the relationship between each element. And the proposed model is shown in figure 10. Uh, we, considered <clears throat> uh, we considered that the forces and torques between the brush mechanism and actuator element would mutually affect each other. Therefore, we modeled each of them and used them for the development of the device. In particular, clarifying the mechanism of the grease cleaning using a cleaning tool is important in the development of the device because it affects the final cleaning rate. In this study, we discussed the brush model. Next, we will talk about the uh, brush model. The mechanical state model of the brush applied to remove grease is shown in figure 11. Uh, <clears throat> the, red line, uh, the red line shows the bristles of the brush, which are moving to the left uh, while being pushed by the pressing force FP. Assuming that the curve of the brush is an arc of radius r and r equals l1, l0 and l3 is uh, l0 and l3 are shown in equation one and two. Assuming that the, the entire brush is a linear elastic spring in the y-axis direction and defining the spring constant of the brush as k, equation three is obtained. The spring constant k of the brush varies mainly depending on the stiffness of the brush. The relationship between the stiffness of the brush and uh, the cleaning degree is verified in section five via experiment. Next, let me talk about the preparation of the grease samples for the cleaning experiment. This section describes the preparation of the grease samples used in the subsequent cleaning experiments. The grease uh, was simulated based on the data from Tokyo Fire Department. First, 107 grams of lard, uh, 106 grams of charcoal powder, and one gram of dust were combined and placed in a metal pan that was heated on a stovetop for 30 minutes. During this process, the <clears throat> the ingredients were stirred to facilitate the vaporization of the oil. The grease produced by this method is shown in figure 13. Uh, the, in the experiment described in section 5, the grease sample is heated and melted before being spread on the metal plate and allowed to solidify. Next, let me talk about the grease cleaning experiment for the evaluation of cleaning tools. In this, in this section, we evaluate the cleaning efficiency of the different types of cleaning tools to be mounted on the cleaning robot. In this experiment, grease cleaning experiments were conducted using the seven types of cleaning uh, tools shown on the right. In the apparatus used for the experiment, for the experiment, as shown in figure 14, 
the cleaning tool could be moved horizontally using slide rails. Here, as the, as the first step of the study, an aluminum plate was spread with uh, 5.0 grams of the produced grease in an area of 10,000 square, uh, 10, square meters at room temperature and was then placed on the apparatus. The reaction force of the cleaning tools uh, from the aluminum plate was measured with a force gauge and the brush was fixed at the position where the reaction force was 30 newtons. <coughs> and the cleaning tool, uh, sorry. Uh, <coughs> and, uh, the cleaning tool was then moved by hand on the, uh, on the aluminum plate. And this movement was performed in such a way that one way was completed in about five seconds. And this was done for five back and forth cycles. After the experiment, uh, the weight of the plate was measured and the weight of the remaining grease was calculated. Then the amount of grease uh, removed was converted to a cleaning rate where 5.0 grams was set as 100%. In addition, uh, the state of the plate was, uh, after the experiment was photographed and the way in which the grease was sh shaped using the cleaning tools was observed. The result of the experiment uh, as uh, shown in the graph, and the graph shows the grease cleaning rate for the, each cleaning tool. First, the cleaning rate of the brush type tool was higher than that of the sponge type tool. We believe that the, there are several reasons for this result. Under 30 newtons, the pressing force of the brush bristles on the grease exceeded its maximum drag force, and the grease was scraped off. In addition, a lot of grease was absorbed due to the large gap between the bristles. On the contrary, the sponge smeared the grease rather than scraping it because the pressing force of the sponge material on the grease did not exceed the vertical drag force of the grease. Moreover, the sponge material was fine. Uh, it absorbed only a small amount of the grease, resulting in a low cleaning rate. Next, <clears throat> the cleaning rate of the nylon brush was higher than that of the metal brush. We believe that the reason for the for this result are for as follows. Nylon so, but travel, travel, um, yeah. means the spray is equal uh, Nylon brushes have low stiffness, so the value of the spring constant K in the model in section three becomes small, and the value of L two becomes larger according to Hooke's law. And as a result, uh, the constant area of the bristles with the grease increases, so more grease can be scraped off. Finally, I'll tell you the conclusion. We reach the co following conclusions. We plan to perform the following tasks in the future. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much. So uh, are there uh, questions or comment from audience? So I have one simple question. Please. I think the I think the the performance uh, of the wash washing in, in the in different types of the, uh, sponge and uh, yeah. You, you test different types, but I think uh, it depends on the type of the dart, I think. So in, 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 in some types, the nylon tube is okay, and some type and uh, sponge is okay, I, 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 I think. So this, this result uh, is, uh, what, uh, what dart do you think? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, 
I think uh, the type of, of the uh, cling to is uh, uh, de uh, depends on the types of the cling to, but uh, the compared compared to uh, the two two brush type, uh, the nylon brush is higher than that of the metal brush. So it uh, this result uh, is. Uh, this is uh, mm, uh, <clears throat> this model uh, is uh, represents the results. Mm. Mm. It's okay. It's a little difficult for me. Okay, so please discuss uh, uh, after the session. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. It's time to go. Yeah. Okay.